so hi guys this is from yes and in this video we are going to solve this pointers in c problem that is in the hacker website in the c section okay so before we are going to solve this problem if you are new here then please subscribe to the channel and in this problem set we are going to understand something about the pointers variable over here and then we are going to solve this problem okay so if you are into the programming then you must have used the pointers variable in the programming in the c programming or in the c plus but in the python we don't have any pointers over there okay because the pointers variable will hold the address of that particular variable okay so first i will walk you through about the problem statement and then we are going to learn about something pointers variable why we are using the pointers variable and why we don't need to just return the value of a pointer and then we are going to explain the my solution over here okay uh, so the problem statement is saying that we need to complete the function void update over here and that is going to take two integer type of pointer variable as a input and then what we need to do is we need to set the value of a to their sum means we are going to sum the value of a and b and then we are going to assign to the a variable okay and then we are going to take the absolute difference of both the variable and then we are going to assign to the b variable okay so there is no any return value and no return statement is needed why because we are using the pointers okay so here is the sample input over here so we have the 4 and 5 as inputs the sum of 4 and 5 is going to be 9 and we are going to assign the 9 to the variable a because this is a pointer variable and then we are going to assign the b the absolute difference of both the variable okay so 4 minus 5 equals to the minus 1 and the absolute difference is equals to the 1 because whenever we are getting the negative value we are just going to remove the negative sign from that particular value and we are going to assign that value to the b variable okay here we have just used two integer type of a and b variables so whenever we are declaring any type of variable in our programming language then that particular variable will be hold a particular type of address okay that will be unique to each variable okay so let's say we have the a variable over whenever we run this program then this variable will hold a particular address okay so that is like a capital a and three okay so this is the unique address of this particular variable so whenever we are just declaring pointer for this variable then what we need to do is we need to take care of two things like we need to have the same data type of both the variables. so like we have the variable a and then we need to assign the a pointer variable that we need to have both the variable to be the same so this is the integer type then we have declared our integer type of pointer and we need to always have the star before the variable name so it will be considered as a pointer variable okay so let's say we have the address of variable a so whenever we are assigning the value of that particular variable to the pointer then we are not going to assign the value of that particular uh, variable we are just going to assign the address of particular variable okay so so whenever we are updating the value of that pointer like if we update the pointer pa then it will also update the value of a because we have the address in that particular pointer of variable a okay so whenever we are assigning the value to particular pointer then we are going to assign the uh, variable is address okay so to assign the address of that particular variable we are going to use the m percent sign before the variable name okay so we have just declared here is the m percent a and m percent b to both the variable to the both the pointers okay so we are just going to pass both the values using that pointer pa and pb so in the update function over here what we have done here is that we have just first call that function over here and we have just given the pointers values into the input parameter okay so what we have done here is in the update function over here we have just get the value of both the pointers over here so if we are going to uh, access the value of that particular pointer we are going to use the star mark over here and if we are just getting the reference from the that particular pointer then we are not going to use the star mark over here so we are using the star mark over here so we are going to take the both the variable is value like if we have the sample input like this 4 and 5 then we are going to just add both the variable is value to the a variable okay and then we have just take the absolute difference of both the variable and then we what we are going to do is we are going to assign the value of the particular variable like we have just defined here is the b variable okay so now we don't need to just return these both two values because we are just referencing to the same variable okay so whenever we are updating the value of pointer a then it will also update the value of a variable over here okay so this is just a simple solution over here so we, now we are going to submit this code so now this is a process successfully so this is just a simple solution over here i hope you learned something new about the point that's it for this video guys so bye bye and see you again